Hi, Jason Sullivan here, making another video about articulation, and this is looking at a different aspect of articulation. I wanted to talk about the aspect of articulation being context dependent. There's a lot of uh, people that I see, uh, students, colleagues, etc., that will practice articulation in, uh, for example, isolated incidents. So they'll play one note at a time. and work on articulating it to make the, the front of the note sound as clear and as clean as they can. And though that's not a bad way to go about it, it doesn't cover all of the different contexts to which we have to articulate. Uh, one of the most important things to keep in mind is that sometimes we articulate a note with uh, nothing in front of it, uh, the first note of a phrase, for example. Sometimes we articulate a note that's in the middle of a phrase. And sometimes, uh, as a bass trombonist in particular, I like to also think about articulating right after a quick breath as perhaps something that needs a little bit of extra work uh, in addition to just after any you know, type of breath. So I look at those three types of situations. And I like to play little rhythms and such that incorporate all of those so I really feel like I'm working on articulation uh, comprehensively. So uh, I'm gonna put up a rhythm that I like to do. Here it is now. So here we have four sixteenth notes, four sixteenth notes, a half note, followed by a whole note and then another whole note. Basically, I have a lot of fast articulations at the beginning of the measure, followed by a couple of notes that are longer in duration, and then I put a breath mark between measure two and measure three. And what that does is then I try to make those notes as connected as possible, but there is a breath and I re-articulate. So I'm working on articulation right after a quick breath. A lot of research in kinesiology uh, suggests that we as human beings tend to coordinate our movements uh, proportionally. So if I have one second to reach out and touch the camera screen, all the little movements in my arm and such that need to happen all get coordinated in a certain type of temporal structure. If I double the speed that that needs to happen, so if I'm going from here to here and it's twice as fast, all of those movements are already coordinated and they'll move proportionally the same. It's just all twice as fast. So each little type of movement is just half the duration it was before. And I feel like a lot of novice and student and collegiate and pre-professional uh, brass players in particular articulate in a manner to where if they have a long note, like a whole note, the amount of time that they spend articulating on that note is actually longer than what it is for, let's say, a 16th note. That's why I do this rhythm. So here's an example I'm gonna put on my metronome. I'm going to put it on 65 beats a minute, and this will act as the half note. So I'm just going to play it on a single tone. So there's lots to work on in there. The first notes that happen in quick succession, obviously I want to take a light approach with my tongue, I'm riding the air stream, and I'm just going for clean, clear enunciation. Then there's that half note. That half note creates the landscape where there's a long duration of time before the next articulation. And what I want to do is make sure that the articulation to the whole note in measure two is just as quick as the articulations to the 16th notes. Then I do the same thing where there's the breath. I try to make that just as quick yet clear and clean uh, as it was for the 16th note. So by doing something like this, I'm covering my grounds. If, um, if I want to add some variety, some challenge, I might add dynamics or I might add uh, harmonic or melodic content. For example, uh, I've got some videos up of 1-5-1 warm-ups that I like to do. I'm going to do this one in a 1-5-1 manner.
So you can hear that that adds a whole other dimension of challenge when you're actually changing pitches. If you wanted to come up with something even more advanced, I mean, you can hear that takes it to a whole new level. But at first, I just do one single pitch. Sorry. First, I just do one single pitch. And by having those different types of articulations all compound into this one rhythm, I'm covering a lot of ground with articulation work. So hope you find this video helpful. Why don't you give it a try? Come up with your own rhythms and feel free to leave comments below. Thanks for watching.